So we're going to talk about building a safe fence. Anna, talk to me about the starting point of that for you. Well, the starting point in cross country, should you be a rider, of course, as I know, is the shape of the jump. The arc, we want the, jump, the horse to jump over the fence. Okay, so there's obviously, as you say, that natural shape that a horse jumps in. There's got to be a lot of different fence types that fit into that yep. shape. What are the ones that we're going to avoid? What are the shapes that we're thinking that's probably not suitable? Well, the extreme, they say we don't want to have a really upright fence like this because obviously the horse might hit the top. And on the contrary, we don't want to have a flat, very long jump because we don't want to teach the horse of that. So it's all a matter of proportion. And if we have an ascending spread, it has to be well proportioned so the shape is being respected. Love it, makes sense. So we've got a, we've got a, a fence that fits the arc of the, of the horse. Yep. How, do, how do we build it so it's now a nice, safe structure? Exactly. The word is structure. That is to say that I don't build an empty shell. First of all, I build a structure and I dress it up. I don't build a veg stand. I build a strong structure with the shape of an ascending spread and then I dress it up as a veg stand. So that structure has to have strong points. You have to think that a, a horse is basically the weight of a very small car that is driving into something at 15 miles per hour. So that structure has to have some strong points in case something wrong would happen. So what can happen is the horse hits the fence, the front of the fence. So we need a diagonal structure just to absorb the shock. Then what can happen if we have a spread fence, the horse jumps and bangs, that is to say canters over the fence we need to have something inside the fence to absorb that shock, which is a vertical strut. And then we have to think that it's not only about hitting, it's about the horse hitting the fence or the rider falling on the fence. And there again, we just want to avoid all sharp edges like this table, for instance. So everything should be round, sanded off, so that if a horse is whatever part of the fence, he just slides it on it. Not and same thing for the rider, actually. Now, we may have to do with a fence that's not acceptable anymore. So we have to change the profile and we have quick, cheap, easy ways to do it, as you can see. Excellent. So you're a builder first, you're an artist second. <laughs> And then we want to have a good, strong structure, nice, safe things, no, no sharp edges and things exactly. like that. And then that lovely shape as well for a horse to jump. That's the idea, yeah. Shape and structure there again. Excellent. That's how to build your safe fence. <laughs>